pretty much figured everything out. So I didn't feel that the ocean should be made of squares because the ocean is, has movement. So I made it sort of these horizontal wiggly um, pieces. So I'm going to paste those in right in front of you. And uh, on one of the tissue boxes, there were a lot of triangles. So I didn't have to have a, an umbrella that was divided into colors, you know, like sort of a traditional umbrella. So I went and I made a purple um, umbrella using all of those purple uh, shapes, all of those purple triangles. And now I am pasting down uh, my ocean. And I loved the little writing that was in this um, Echo Smart, I think they were light bulbs or something, um, package. And I like this teal color for the ocean color. Okay, and I have a plan for doing the edge. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to work, but um, it what it what you have to remember too is uh, we are making a collage. Okay, so this is a kind of cross between a mosaic and a collage, and so with the collage we can think of using things that have texture as well. Okay, now what's going on here? I got a little lost. This goes where? Here? Okay. Take all these pieces off and figure out what I'm doing. So that's there. Uh, this one is here. Always best to go with the big pieces first and then fill in with the little pieces. And I don't even know if I'm putting it back exactly the way I had it arranged, but I'm just taking a good guess here. Okay, this looks good. Okay. And then, let's see. Hmm. There, that works. So I just put down some blue. I think having all the white in the background definitely helps a lot. So I'm glad that I figured that out. Because it just didn't work with having brown and white and doing all of this work and not being able to see it that clearly. Okay, so as you can see, have to cut maybe an itty bitty piece. We'll use both of these. See, that's another thing why maybe these pieces got a little smaller because I got towards the end of this. And I just wanted to use what I had in my hand. So there we go. Oh. Okay, there we go. So that's in there. Um, I have planned for my uh, beach chair. It doesn't have to be all those stripes. Uh, I am throwing a stripe into it. It comes from a San Giorgio uh, pasta box. So there's the top of my uh, beach chair. And then here's the seat of my beach chair. And uh, I'm I sort of like that original. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Um, but I'm just going to cut, let's see, um, I guess I'll try to use the orange just to change it up. But I just thought I'd cut some thin pieces for um, the legs of the beach chair and the skinny piece that's in the back. Okay. Now, and so sometimes when you're doing this, uh, so I'm pasting this down, and I know that that's too far. This piece ends right there, okay. And you can see too, I drew on this um, after I got the beach down. This came, by the way, from a Kleenex box that I thought was awesome and this sort of reminded me of footprints 
Um, so I drew the frame of the um, chair when I put the beach tiles over uh, the frame. So I would know how to put the frame in. So that's what I'm doing now. Okay. One more piece in the back. Okay, so there's that. And watch out, the pieces will wiggle around and move on you. So it's good to double check them as you work. And then I have this piece that goes back that kind of holds the chair up. Oopsie. Okay, thank God I have a second piece. Okay. We have that. Okay, there's my beach chair. Okay, and oh dear, where did it go? I had a nice pink piece that I was going to use for my trunk. And I put everything away. Uh, I found that pink works well for the trunk of a palm tree. Um, so here I'll just cut another one because it has to be in sections anyway. So put it like this, like this. Okay. Um, and towards the top, it's going to get pointy. So I better paste this in because I seem to have lost it, the one that I had. But it just shows never never stress, just keep going. And sometimes it's okay to feel like you just want to get done. This is uh, an involved project. Okay, I'm going to put this on, and it's going to go up into where um, what the, one of the leaves are, but I don't really care about that because the leaves will overlap. So um, I had a cracker box, a club cracker box that was green. So I pre-cut some leaves, and we all know roughly what a leaf shape looks like. So I cut um, full leaf shapes and half leaf shapes to get this in. Do some more cutting. Um, and as you can see, I'm not following exactly what um, the design was. Move this up a bit, move this here. I have to get a leaf in here. I think I need another partial leaf. And then maybe I'll just bend it like this the way a palm tree leaf can bend sometimes. There we go. So, this one like that. I think I have a darker piece. If it's here like this, I need a darker piece going down. You can see it better. And then again like that. And then I've got a leaf here. I've got one more here. I brought the last one too. Perfect. Okay, let's move that some more like this. Very sticky. Okay. And now, actually, um, I do have a surprise ending here for the foam of the water. And I think we all remember I had a beach ball <laughs> next to the um, uh, chair. So there's my beach ball. That'll do. Um, and here's a relic from the cracker box. 
I have uh, the plant at the bottom there. And this sort of blends itself because it's kind of craggy. And then I also have this. So this is what I mean by a collage. You can, you know, use texture um, as well. I'm just cutting a piece of like diagonal pieces for the bush down here. And I'll put on a bunch of glue. So you don't have to overthink it. Um, I'm putting this here first. I'll snip that off. And then I'll put some more glue. I might not even need that base to it, but I just thought it might be a good idea. Right, and then I'm just putting in these diagonal pieces that suggest the look of a bush. Okay. And in the end, uh, we I will have to put a box on this whole thing to flatten it. I mean, a book on this whole thing to flatten it out. There we go. Done. Okay, there's my bush. Okay. All right, now, here's the big surprise <laughs> uh, for the foam of the ocean. You know all of the, this is from our, our um, sketchbooks. When we uh, take the sketchbook um, out, we have this sort of funny crinkly paper, you know, with all the holes in it. So I thought, what a great thing to use for the foam, right? Come on, be with me on this, okay? Look at that, look how great that is. That really works. Okay, looks like I might need more of the stuff, but it's very easy to get. I'm just gonna take a few pieces out of my sketchbook and I can even just take a piece of paper and crinkle it up and do that too. But I really kind of like this, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some more of it. And I can save the piece of paper so I'm not wasting it. So I'll take a couple of these and pull that apart. Kind of roll them up, crinkle them. More glue just to make sure. Okay. Oh, how awesome is that? There's no question what it is, right? There we go. All right, so there is my beachy collage. Uh, see, 